What do you think is coursing through my veins right now? She's whiz. We've got 10 reasons why Adam Richman was never the same after Man vs. Food. There's more than meets the eye when it comes to this Food Challenge star. Health over Hollywood. In the battle of Man vs. Food, food definitely won. Adam Richman became a celebrity by pushing the limits of his own body. All those man vs. food challenges that featured him gorging on insane spices and huge portions eventually took a toll on his health. He gained quite a bit of weight and didn't like what he started to see in the mirror. Although he won't go as far as to say that health issues were the reason why the television show ended, he did acknowledge how it led him to reevaluate his behavior. The stress of preparing for and trying to beat any and all challenges put in front of him was stressful and contributed to his weight gain and deteriorating health. I can't stop eating. A heavy guy participating in a food challenge program seemed perfectly natural on television, but Richmond also had to live in the real world, where he started to experience some real consequences. He even started to question things like if too much ghost pepper in a dish could actually kill him. He conquered most of the Man vs. Food challenges, but there were some failures along the way too, and unfortunately, that stuck with him. Richmond knew the bright lights of fame, thanks to the TV show, but the unhealthy experience experiences helped him gain some perspective about what was really important in life. Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and hear the lamentation of the women. Richmond worked hard to make food a part of his life without letting it consume him. And in the process, he became healthier on the outside and the inside. Hashtag controversy. I'm up to 2,000 followers since last night. You're trending, bro. Many people, especially celebrities, have gotten into trouble over social media posts. Adam Richman innocently posted on Instagram about his weight loss and the idea that he would need to have his suits altered because they no longer fit him. When he posted this, he included the hashtag Sinspiration. Unfortunately, the use of this hashtag created an immediate firestorm of protests on social media. Some of the people who commented on Richman's post tried to argue that he was promoting an unhealthy lifestyle by drawing too much attention to his new trimmer physique. Instead of putting the fire out, he fanned the flames as he reacted to the criticism by feeding the fire. Maybe the smart move would have been to apologize and delete the hashtag, oh, if only. But instead, he decided to put out some expletive-laced responses. Monster! You monster! Uh. Did you see the news? These posts heaped more negative attention on him at a time when he didn't need the bad publicity. Because of the uproar, the Travel Channel stopped production of his brand new show, and even worse, the channel pulled it only a couple of days before the debut date. The show eventually aired under a different name and with a different host. Adam Richman learned the hard way that there were serious consequences from what started as an innocent Instagram post and was never the same after that. You know, in this day and age where everything is, oh, that's so five minutes ago, and oh my god, they Instagram that. Goal! It's the beautiful game, it is the global game, and it is our game. Adam Richman used to be known for his eating challenge show, Man vs. Food, but he was also known for the increasingly hefty physique, which was a reflection of his unhealthy lifestyle. He also loves soccer and is a huge fan of Tottenham Hotspur FC. In 2014, he was asked to participate in a popular charity event known as Soccer Aid. This event is organized by UNICEF and is part of the organization's efforts to fight poverty in Africa. Richmond was excited about doing what he could for this worthy cause and was determined to take this opportunity seriously. He put himself on a serious weight loss program that included a lot of exercise and he even took a stab at veganism. Although he did lose the weight he had gained while doing Man vs. Food, he did admit that he would occasionally cheat on his strict diet and enjoy the occasional piece of meat. I thought this was the bathroom. This is not what it looks like, just... Yeah. You can't blame him for craving some extra protein during the training program. Richmond still took his training seriously, and he and a group of amateurs called the Rest of the World Team took to the field to face a real team that consisted of professional British athletes. Soccer Aid 2014 was a success, and Adam Richmond lost about 70 pounds because of his determination to be ready for the match. In this case, everyone scored, and everyone got to see the new Adam Richmond. The best man, everybody. Best man. The best Better man. Too much of a good thing. What will your strategy be if you had to eat 15 dozen oysters? I'd shoot myself first.
The whole point of Man vs. Food was for Adam Richman to take on extreme food challenges. However, as much as eating can be fun, there can also be a dark side to this kind of practice. The challenges could be anything from giant burritos to atomic buffalo wings. Richman has not been shy about his love of food, but sometimes he had to face certain consequences from taking on these challenges. Like in 2009, for instance, his love of oysters led him to the Acme Oyster House in New Orleans. It's like eating a mermaid. But after this visit, he would never be the same. He was determined to join the 15 Dozen Club. To join this exclusive group, he had to consume 180 oysters. Even if you love this delicacy, as Richmond did, this sounds like a difficult challenge. Like the true professional he is, Richmond completed the challenge, but the oyster overload permanently changed him. He admitted that the experience turned him off from oysters to the point where he's only had about a dozen of them since the challenge. Just even thinking about it makes me feel some kind of way. Even though Richmond didn't get sick from eating so many oysters, the experience was still unappetizing enough to change him and his taste buds. The show must go on. And I'm immediately hit with an intense wallop of flavor. Adam Richmond's run as the host of Man vs. Food came to an end in 2012, under less than ideal circumstances. The show had been on the air for five years and presumably made a lot of money for the Travel Channel. The Travel Channel called it a true pop culture phenomenon phenomenon, and they wanted to keep it going. But Richmond had moved on, so the producers went out and found Casey Webb. Webb has worked as an actor and appeared on popular shows like Boardwalk Empire and Inside Amy Schumer. Of course, Webb is also a food lover and has also worked in the restaurant business for a long time. Even with this background, he still had his work cut out for him on Man Vs. Food. I admit I have some mighty big shoes to fill. Just like Richmond, Webb embraced the food challenges that were put in front of him. People have tried to compare the two hosts, but they each brought their own energy and experiences to the show, and both hosts were able to make it work. This new version of Man vs. Food was considered a success when it aired with Webb as its host. The show has had a good run and has been going strong for several seasons. And even though Richmond owes a lot of his success to his stint as a host on the show, Show, he still worked hard to branch out and demonstrate he's capable of much more. Take him away, boys. Yay! Birthday suit shoot. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, you get away from me, you sick, sick, sicko. Being naked in public is just about the last thing many of us would want to do. Adam Richman probably used to feel this way too, but this changed in 2014. This was the year he decided to be part of the Soccer Aid charity event. He needed to get into shape so he started training hard, and his program worked so well, he lost an amazing 70 pounds. So naturally, he was ready for the next step, posing naked for a famous magazine. Cosmopolitan UK put out a tasteful spread with Richmond posing with strategically placed items to keep the images clean. That's lovely. Okay, now look. Now, bite your lip like this for the... Like. The revealing photographs of Richmond received mostly positive reviews for his willingness to show himself in such a public way. This kind of photo shoot definitely isn't for everyone, but it was all in good fun. His newfound confidence definitely qualifies as a reason why he was never the same after Man vs. Food. Maybe Richmond's decision to participate in the photo shoot inspired others to see themselves in a more positive way. We can't have anyone freak out out there, okay? We've got to keep our composure! Got too far. He admitted that it was a strange transformation to go from the chubby, fun guy known for the crazy eating challenges he endured to someone who was celebrated for posing in his birthday suit. Something's cooking. Just look at the glaze we've got going now on that thing. Oh man, yeah, that is hot. Adam Richman was well known for tackling some pretty outrageous food challenges while on Man vs. Food. You might even say he had a career as a professional eater and was willing to push the envelope. But what people might not know is that Richman is also a trained sushi chef so he can rightly be described as a celebrity chef. Richmond has even appeared on television shows like The Today Show to share some of his favorite tips and recipes. During one visit to the popular morning program, he showed the proper way to clean and prepare fresh clams for cooking. He shared several of his favorite summertime seafood recipes, such as grilled clams and baked clams with breadcrumb stuffing. During another appearance on The Morning Show, Richmond brought his mom's chicken marsala recipe. Not only has 
Adam Richmond stretched his cooking muscles, he also became an author with several books to his name. You're the damn iron chef. In 2010, he released a book called America the Edible, a hungry history from sea to dining sea. In 2015, he released Straight Up Tasty, Meals, Memories, and Mouthfuls from My Travels, a cookbook. The title might be a bit of a mouthful, but this wasn't the problem some of the critics had with the book. One critic basically described the book as an unappealing catalog of Richmond's televised eating excesses. Regardless of what critics had to say, Richmond was trying to move beyond his television days. This change meant he would eat less but cook more to get back to his roots. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think women like guys who can see their feet, so I'm gonna keep playing with that, so. In wine, there is truth. Fetch me more wine! In vino veritas is the Latin phrase that means in wine there is truth. In other words, people are supposedly more likely to reveal their true selves after a few drinks. Whether this is true or not, Adam Richman has discovered a new passion and became a wine guy through and through. Wine has kind of a sophisticated reputation, so you wouldn't necessarily associate it with a man who made a living by taking on some of the most over-the-top food challenges, and yet here he is. Richman partnered with a company called Alamo most wines, with which he hosted several wine pairing events. The Malbecs have amazing flavors. This new passion definitely showed a different side of Richmond and helped him put his old career behind him to set him on a new path. This path includes taking part in events like the Palm Beach Food and Wine Festival, which has introduced him to a whole new world of food lovers. He even went to Argentina to meet the people at the vineyards and see firsthand where the grapes came from. He is a changed man indeed. And vino veritas. A new stage. Mm -hmm. uh, went to, got my master's from Yale in 2003 in acting. Mm -hmm. You might not know that the man who stretched the limits of gastric sanity on Man vs. Food also has an Ivy League degree. In fact, Adam Richman really did get a degree from Yale Drama School. After he knew his eating challenge days were behind him, he decided to go back to his stage roots. He spent time working in the London theater scene as a producer and as an advocate for causes that are important to him. Richman produced a play called Stalking the Boogeyman, telling the story of a journalist who stalks the man that sexually assaulted him when he was a child. Not only was the play an award-winning production, but it helped raise awareness for the issue of sexual assault. The subject matter might seem like a strange choice for the reality television personality. True story, bro. However, he explained that he wanted to be thought of as more than just an angry person who ate a lot and posted some regrettable things on social media. Why don't you just enjoy this moment? Take the picture! His serious theatrical work in London is one more piece of evidence Richmond was never the same after Man vs. Food. Pilgrimage. I said, let's just find the greatest sandwich. Yeah. Every culture has a sandwich. In August of 2019, Adam Richman decided to embrace his Jewish roots and took a trip to Israel. Even though he is a television personality, Richman insisted on little fanfare. Instead of traveling with an entourage that might attract media attention, he decided to travel to Israel with his mother. However, he did decide to keep his fans in the loop with Twitter and Instagram posts to chronicle the highlights of this once-in-a-lifetime trip. I'm about to eat nachos! It's the greatest moment of my life! He went to many popular historic sites, including Jerusalem, the Dead Sea, and the ruins of the hilltop fortress at Masada. Richmond explained on social media that the most important part of his journey was his visit to the famous Western Wall, part of a retaining wall for the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. He admitted that he was not fully prepared for the emotions he experienced at the Western Wall, even though he had been looking forward to visiting this important religious site for years. Richmond posted some lengthy descriptions of his visit to the Western Wall. He tried to express his emotional reaction to his followers, but this might have been one of those times where you just had to be there. His experience in Israel was a profound one, and Richmond strongly believes the trip changed him for the better. Go home, sugar bear. Go home. We've got more. Just tap or click for another great video, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. And hey, leave us a comment.